So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to We Happy Few. So in the last episode, me and Ollie, we made considerable progress in me escaping where we currently are. So it turns out Ollie has this weird tool thing. I don't even know exactly what it is, but I think if I take it to the bobbies and show them that I'm going to fix the bridge, they may actually believe me for some reason. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see by jumping into the game and seeing exactly what- You are taking your joy. I tried not taking my joy for one day. Guys, they're everywhere. Want proof? Look at this, right? Look at this, okay? You did you right? There you go, okay? Yeah, making me break my room up honestly for an intro. What is this coming to right now? So far, We Happy Few has been doing so much better than what I expected. So honestly, guys, thank you so much for the continued support on this one. I'm just going to continue this for as long as I can. And with all that said, I'm going to hop straight into this game. But I mean, if you do want another one, you better take your joy, okay? So I said before, guys, in the last episode, we went and spoke to Ollie for what may be the final time, at least for a while. And he gave us the tool, which is going to allow us to, I guess, try and repair the bridge. I think now we're heading over more towards this place there. This will be, I think, the third island out of maybe four of them in total. So I'm going to play this nice and safe. Really, it's a case of if you keep your distance from the path, these guys don't really care. So that's good for me. So I kind of want to get close. I see these guys hanging around here, almost like chatting or something. Kind of wondering, what the freak are they doing? You got one or two patrolling up and down this path here. The woman gave me, and I did eat. What? What? Freak. What? Oh, that's stupid. Okay, there's one right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there trying to sneak one straight behind me. Okay, lay it on the low. He may be coming over. Let me draw my weapon out, okay? I got a steel pipe, or it might be a lead pipe, and I'm not afraid to use it, okay? You stupid Bobby. I think he's lost me, though. Yeah, let me put my weapon away. Yeah, he's the only one as well who's alerted, and he's heading back to his patrol path, so we should be all good. All right, don't try and sneak on a Bobby in the middle of the night. Got it. Ooh, that's our checkpoint right there. Two bobbies coming along, you see that? That's going to be kind of difficult to get around, other than, I suppose, waiting for them to turn and go the other way. Because I don't want to try and risk... Unless I take the one out of the back, and then I take the one out of the front, and just hope he doesn't spin around in time. Look, guys, for the video, let's get this done, all right? They seem kind of stupid, and they do... I take everything back. This guy is now patrolling on his own. Now he's going back. So it seems like they walk towards this point here. No closer on their part. I'm gonna keep on the low. Make sure they go back. Yes! They definitely are. Hey, guys, uh, here to fix the bridge up, okay? Mm. Look, this is not gonna work. That's an officer right there. Lovely Constable, right? day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. Okay. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. Great. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you Can we fix let it? anybody in? Yeah, hold oh, on. Oh, yes. Is someone in there now? Is he dead? And in the past month? Bell! In the past month? Ah, oh, there's a chap in there right now! Yeah, that's a load you of crap. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? You really don't. Bell, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I see. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You. Us. Okay. Everybody. So was it intentionally well, possible, possible, right? I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Uh-oh. Central? <laughs> Ever seen one of these? Oh, hey. Bugger me. What is it? You're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. Yeah, this uh, device uh, detects of course. structural well, irregularities using shortwave radar. Uh, but I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Oh. Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't going to take that joy. Okay. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? Not with no, this one. Sir. <laughs> the, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. See Maybe how I'm I feeling, will. okay? Maybe I won't. All right, there we go. And yeah, you better watch yourself, all right, Constable Wright. So I'll end up making it Constable wrong. Don't look at me gone out whilst I search this, all right? I see you. Yeah, tell no one, okay? Guys, this is it. <sighs> Door is open, we'll close it behind us. You hear that jolly music? Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? Mm. There is another way, though, isn't there? We could probably parkour this stuff up, you know, like hardcore parkour. Mm. Yeah, we're not going to jump over there. Uh, open this right here. Dang, you see this place right now? There's a lady right Please here. Please take a number and sit down. Okay. There's nobody else here. Yeah. Please take a number and sit down. We got an Android, guys. We have an Android right here. So I guess we'll go ahead and take our number. Thank you very much. Number two. So what about number one? That's interesting. Simply says, wait. I ain't about that. Let's check around here. I, I mean, I can search all these. Look, they're all empty. There is no work to even be done, I suppose. Like, no one's coming through, so the cabinets would be completely barren. Oh. Number two. Now serving number two. Okay, that's great. So is it through Welcome this way to here? the rehabilitation centre. Actually, I'm oh. just a sort of 
Don't Undercover say bridge that. inspector <sighs> from Central. See yep. this device. Uh, it detects structural. That's really bad, my then guy. You should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. Guys. Guys, we may have a slight problem amassing, kind of slowly, you know? Uh, I don't think I'm ready for the test, so uh, hold up. Uh, what the freak is going on through there? You know what? I don't want to know. I'm going. So just through here? This is kind of interesting. Oh, man. I don't know how I feel about this, you know? We're meant to know, like, uh, a quiz or questions or something? Oh, boy. This could go real sour real quick. This place is strange. So limit joy to once per hour. 24 a day? Oh my goodness. That's Please one of the dynamic things. Yeah. Into this box, mm -hmm. retaining only your clothes. Wow, okay. Put the arms in. Please continue bare bones to again. the decontamination room. This is strange, but I'm into this at the same time. Please um, discard your clothes. Yeah. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. Great. Plus scrap, I'm gonna pick that one up. Uh, what about this guy? You okay right there? Uh, why you got footsteps on your butt cheeks? Hold up a sec. They've left a lot of stuff like an apple. It's like a sandwich. Bro, some tea? Healing balm as well? These idiots just leaving all this around? Look at this! You guys can keep my inventory. I got so much more good stuff. Alright, let's keep moving through. So the undressing room. Uh, was closely. I just go promenading about, wondering why everyone was staring. Yeah. I never did quite grasp what's so important about wearing clothes. Aw, poor Percy. Alright, let's go on through, I guess. We got a shower. This is so interesting. Must feel good though, right? Congratulations! That was nice. You have that was delicious. been decontaminated. Right. Please proceed to the next room and okay. obtain fresh, new, proper, clean clothes. Guys, this oh, is good so far. Watching. I'm judging. <laughs> Arthur, you got something you're ashamed about? Doesn't matter, honestly. Uh, let's go on through. So. We got a proper suit right now. Don't you look wonderful? I'm sure I do. Please proceed to the next room. Guys, In this is so cool, man. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, okay. please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Oh, this is cool. I mean, they're all fake. Are they gonna like poof out some air or is something? There you go. Licorice. Why licorice? I mean, that's kind of delicious, right? The most important moment in your rehabilitation. Okay. Please take your favorite what? flavor of joy. It's flavored? Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. Hmm. I mean, I'm more of a strawberry kind of guy, you know? Let me know what you guys are down below, okay? Don't mind me. Just having a bit of a sit down. Yeah. Just before we go ahead and walk through the bobbies. I'm excited for this right now, guys. Hey, how's it oh, going? I must man? insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy. Sir. We have to take joy? Oh, man. Can we show. Uh! Strawberry oh. flavour, Pete! Damn it. Like, they were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? Can I not show them the tool again? What? The freak is this guy, anyway? Is that real? The heck? Look, I got questions right now, Constable Woolner. Like a mini bar here. Uh, I'm gonna search around this thing. I I'll take the scotch, thank you. I love how this guy doesn't even care that I've just taken scotch as well. See, now this is the stuff which I really love about this game. Hang on, let me talk to uh, Constable Lovely Stephens. Day for it. Right sure. as rain, right as rain. Sure thing, whatever that means. Alright, I'm gonna take my joy right now. So we can go chocolate, vinegar. He. How did he know? What the heck? I said that out. Joy makes you happy, but take care not to take too much. The joy meter will help you track your joy experimentation. If the joy meter fills, you will overdose and suffer penalties. Okay. Guys, I'm on my joy right now. As you take more joy, you will notice a memory loss counter around the joy meter. This counter tracks your memory loss from taking joy too many times. You will crash, suffer penalties. For this reason, you should try and take it tactically and only when necessary. All right. Bro, happiness is a choice. Freak, are we back? All right, let's go on through. Look at the straw we got right now. The I mean, I'll take a seat. Hold up, hold up. What's this guy got? <gasps> Crap, this game just got absolutely amazing. Please open your eyes. This room is for showing Uncle Jack only. It is not for other activities. This is so much fun. Look, it's Uncle Jack. Uh, look, we'll take a seat, I guess. How's it going? Um, like the, the lights are dimming. Excellent. <laughs> Sit tight and enjoy the show. Let's do it. This is so fun. What the heck? Equity minute. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack etiquette minute. Okay. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlet so Village? Cool. <laughs> well, it's easy. To get along, go along. Oh, wow. If someone tells you so it's so a lovely so. day, agree with them. <laughs> because, of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlet Village, so don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Got it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Huh? Clothes make the man, eh? Indeed, 
naked we tried to have say almost no influence at all in society <laughs> and don't dress in rags either or people might think you're a wastrel okay now what should you do if people are staring at you maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy <laughs> who cares oh, it's just, just cool. pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about well, I need their a drink day. right now can i drink to this show if things you know? seem to be getting a bit hectic remember you can always sit on a bench Relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. What? This is Take so cool. Off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. <laughs> okay. Or, I don't know. Watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune Great. in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. I kind of figured when you gloat at your own ego, Uncle you dingus. Jack, wonderful. Wow. Now, Let's go ahead, please stand up. proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. I, I, was, I was supposed to pay atten <clears throat> attention? See, this is the fascination with this game. Like, story mode aside, it's just a trip of a lifetime. This whole experience is bizarre, but it's so interesting. So now all we got to do is pass the test. Whoa. Just a friendly reminder. This is incredible. Uncle Jack, don't mention it. Okay. But a word to the wise. Yeah, can we hear it? Uh, decent people. Don't like people what is running, jumping, right. crouching, mm -hmm. spying, sneaking, breaking, or entering. Got Such it. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Downers. Avoid them. And we shan't have disagreements. All right, I won't act like a downer. This is like a cardboard cutout street. <sighs> What the? I love the etiquette to this game and the design. It's so cool. So what the freak is that thing? That monstrosity welcome, right now? Welcome, welcome. Gosh, it's time I'm playing to with play this dude here. Oh, behave. The game where you show that you're ready to come back to Hamlin Village. Let me prove this, right? Like a proper decent citizen. Let's go. Oh, for heaven's sake, they can't be serious. <laughs> this is are so you cool. Ready to behave? I guess. Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All okay. you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington World. Ooh, what I'd do for that power cell right now. Just realise you're packing Mr. one. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? Final what? cashier. Glad he's still around. So we if know him. If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet, like what you do. B. Okay. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. Mm -mm. C. The eyes, the eyes. Uh, pretty much A, I think, for that one, you know? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. It never hurts to say hello to No, it people. doesn't. See? Very simple. <laughs> Guy, you're getting wrecked right now. The eyes was not the right answer. We got a downer. Oh, boy. This is Browning. Looking good for you. What would you like to know? Mm. If you realise you're wearing rags, should you... A. Pop a joy. B. Okay. Put on proper clothes, for God's sake. Yep. And why not pop a joy? C. Sounds good. What does everybody now buy? Guys, we're going for B right now, okay? We're absolutely slaying this dude. That's right. Player one. Wow. Just Saying. popping a joy is not always enough. We do have standards, you know. Oh, we know, we know. Player two, I'm afraid everything does Dude. not actually have eyes. He's so messed up. Like, he's messing up so bad right now. Jack Constable. Constable, Constable, your question. Right. Well, here's my interrogative. If I see you running, mm -hmm. jumping about, or crouching in the shadows, what will I likely do? Smash hey. me over the head. Tell you to stop your rotten shenanigans before I smash you in the face. Yeah, that sounds good. Run and jump and play myself. See. Uh, I mean. Oh God, the eyes. I mean. Clear one. That's exactly right. I'm slaying. Hold up, though. Do try to pay attention. We want you. He got you it wrong again, didn't he? He said the eyes. Yeah. Mrs. Next one. Sackville, your question, please. If you want to make friends with me, should you a find out. give me flowers? Sounds B, good. Talk about old times. No. C. Stop staring at me. Why is everything staring? <laughs> Aye, it is again. Aye. Excellent. Yes. Do give the ladies a lovely bouquet. Of course. They do so love flowers. Oh, I well, know. Remember, Last one. doctors are here to help you. That doctor looks creepy as heck. Joy, doctors will smell it right away. Smell? And they'll give you a quick injection to make your day a lovely one. Wow. Dr. Byron, what is your question? Jesus. What happens when you take too much joy? You hey. overdose. You can't find your own house. Well, yeah. Who cares? Well, See? yeah. Please, God, make them stop staring. Probably can't find a house, to be honest, you know? It's about that memory loss you see for this one. I'm afraid Let me see. that was a bit of a trick question. See? It's true. You can't find your house when you overdose on joy. So I got that one technique. But we wanted you to see the broader truth, which is, who cares? Wow. Okay, oh, I see. Clear two. 
today is just not your day, wow. is it? But you can always come back for a seventh try. Bro, give and up while you can. This episode of Oh Behave. Mm -hmm. I hope you made it to the village. You should have, I think. If you didn't, remember, we're always happy to give you another shot. Okay. If you're willing to behave like a decent citizen. Of course we are. Here in Hamlin Village, we're always happy. Takes a robot to tell me that. A robot which doesn't even know what emotion is. You know, my guy, you're done. All right, can I go? Welcome, free? welcome, welcome. What? It's time um, to play. What the hell? I paused the test. Yeah. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Pull the power cell, right? Are you ready right? to behave? No. no. Our five guest questions are going to Can I just take this? No. Nope. Oh, I can't take it. Look, I'm going to stroll on out of here. You see that? Go ahead, open that. Uh, metal bits. Look, I'll take it. Uh, search the locker. That's a lot of good stuff. It's yeah. Yeah. You should. Hey. Okay, we're off. Say hello to so everyone we you meet. We are out of here. Yeah. Me. Look at this place. So many things we can search to. This place is weird right now. It's like going now into, I guess, a zone where people can access it. Um. Freak. I think we're in some kind of like city. We can get all of our stuff, I hope, from that too. Hey, all of our stuff's there again, guys. Thank goodness. All right, hold up a sec. What? Wait, wait, wait. This isn't right. So if I go back through this way. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a sec. I need to get through there. May uh, hey. I express my delight that you passed the examination, uh, sir? Okay, We've not that's had good as then. many as we'd right. hoped, sir. <clears throat> Not as many at all. And yet, Good. they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Sure. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind that there is now a nocturnal curfew. Okay. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. Noted. If I wanted to right. bugger off, I bet a nice bottle of scotch would help. I mean, I got one. So, like, I could Lovely give it maybe? Lovely day for it. We press the button a sec. Okay, so I'm heading back up. I feel like this is the way I just came, though, so am I not- Wait, I'm not backtracking? What the freak? Everyone is cheering us on, including three of the Ooh, same woman? Wonderful! See, welcome should clear up soon, I imagine. Oh. Wow. Look, I'm going on through- So from wow. here, I've got Whoa. to get to St. George's home, and then into the parade. Okay. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade. Dude, like look the at this! on my desk in the parade. Oh, crap. How do I get a new one? Hmm. Wait. The old government printing office was on late now. Maybe mm -hmm. I can break in and steal some blanks. I'm in. I'm in. So we're in Maiden Home, guys. Look at this place. Now, I am curious what it would look like when we're not on our joy. And uh, I'm also wondering, can we, like, take a joy? Like, take a joy, but without actually consuming it? I don't know. Maybe we store it in our inventory. If we take it again, this may be a problem because we're going to overdose. Yeah, he popped it. I've overdosed on joy already. <laughs> you can have fight effects for your movement speed is reduced and you make more noise. Uh, well, that's great. What? The heck? So when you're overdosed, don't, I guess, bring any attention. Wait, what? The freak, so what? I can't let people see that I'm sick. Oh, uh, she's coming over. Hold up. Let me back up a sec. Dude, I don't want to do this. Wait, she's going to actually get me caught. Can I go back in here? All right, she's going away. Um, I'm wondering if there's maybe a way we can uh, get rid of this overdose. You know, this is kind of annoying, and I didn't know what I was doing. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to sleep rough, I guess. Okay, I think the meter is about to wear off. Let me just see. So... There you go. Now we're just on our joy, it's enjoying like the good a life. on a drug. That's it. And, uh, you know, after, that's a bit concerning, you know. These quotes and such. Let's talk to Wally. Lovely How's it weather. going? Wait. Indeed. What? I forgot to tell you the punchline. Uh, Hold on. You're not Harry. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah uh, see ya. This place is very magical, though. It's like Tudor-esque with the building style. But everything is just so decorated. I'm going to search this post box in front of everyone. They love it. Got a police box right here. That's interesting. Um, don't really know how they work. Look how happy everyone is, though. Like, the town just feels so alive. First of all, I need to find myself a home, you know? I want to end up living here. So let me check down this alleyway on the map. It did show something. I think this lady right here is in the house I need to be in. Um, if I go ahead and open this and climb through, she's gonna ring the alarm bells though, right? Because like, if I press M, you can see home is apparently there. Hold up, what is she doing? She's left at home, she's sweeping. Uh, can I talk? Did you hear? They've caught Foggy Jack. I'm trespassing, so I can't do that. Hold up, so she's currently sweeping. Now's my chance to climb through and maybe find this uh, house thing. Steal a slice of pie. Guys, this is terrible. Look at me go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's not looking so promising at the moment getting in this place. One thing I'm noticing, though, is that my joy is kind of wearing a little thin. So I may go back, dose up, and I... The heck was that? Wait, is it because the joy's wearing off? Okay, I better be quick. Get back on my joy, and I guess uh, be on my merry way. Whoa. I have a withdrawal from joy. This is what the place actually looks like. What is that? 
Whoa, the mirage of joy is insane. So you don't look well at all. People will notice and become upset at you. You attack more slowly and do less damage. Dang, look at this. They're so happy. If only they were to see what really is going on with their city. Wow, I better pop another draw. Okay, I'm out. All right, so this time I'm going to make track, I think, around the back of the village because you can see it's pretty much barren around here. There's no one uh, that we really need to be worried about. I'll just speak as still, but that music, though, is just so happy. Not a single problem in the world, guys. You already know how it is. So I guess we got to go over toward there. Shocking revelation, find the hatch in Maiden Home. That's very important. So, wait, let me put a marker on that. A custom waypoint. 130 meters only in that direction. Okay, let's make track nice and quick here. Whoa. I'm noticing quickly, if you go on the outskirts of the city, you can't pretty much get back in. You're basically locked out. You have to walk through. And I guess that confines you to being very, very tactical. But I guess also having a real big flank route if you're going to go off your joy, which uh, I think I might be in just a sec. Guys, I'm about to come off my joy in just a sec. Now, I'm worried those monitors will be able to, like, uh, alert the authority or something. That's my big concern. But I'm looking at this. The city is near enough boxed in, you know? So this is what the place actually looks like. That monitor freaks me out. So it's not like an alert thing. It just kind of registers your face. So this is what we're dealing with on the outskirts of the nice looking village, okay? You, like, you see me do that? And back to normal, thankfully. Okay, so I don't want to run whilst I'm on my joy, but I want to keep a nice hasty movement on the go. The hatch is 150 meters in that way, so if I can get to this nice and quick, then we can really make a plan from there. And I'm hoping as well the hatch has some kind of like joy thing within it so I can take it when I get back out. A lot of constables around here as well. Um, if I go up to him, hold up. It says bribe with scotch. Uh, what do you mean bribe with scotch? Should I try this? V? Here. I want you to have this. I mean, he took it? The dude got drunk straight up. What the f- I mean, officers! We are not accustomed to such generosity on the part of the populace. He got drunk real quick, okay? I wonder if maybe people alert him when we're off our joy. If we give him the scotch, that might be our way to avoid him. Okay, nearly here right now. This apparently is the Church of Simon Says, so there's all that talk about that. But let's see. Okay, this is looking more like a residential thing. Yeah. See it in the corner there, yeah. It's a maiden home station. Look, ain't interested. Let me get in the hatch. Yes, let's go. Woo! Whoa. The freak happened to this place. How am I supposed to get- Oh, guys. Yeah. Well, I suppose there are more lingering ways to go. True. I gotta try and now get across here, I guess, in one piece. But I've also gotta try and locate how I can stop this. Ah, let's go. Yeah, we gotta be real careful right now. Freak. Okay, so I came up my joy. Look, this is the reality down here. Flies everywhere, all on the corpses. It is not pleasant. Hop over here. How am I gonna safely do this, you see? Almost every avenue down here is, uh, I guess, too- Gun in? See, I need to get all the way back there. It looks like that button will deactivate the power. But how you do that? I'm really not sure. There's no items we can pick up to maybe stack. Let me go back outside a second. Maybe we can turn it off outside too. Thing is though, guys, we're on our down come, so we gotta lay low. Uh, this is what we're dealing with right here, so do not open. I'm not sure at all. All right, guys, so I'm thinking it's somewhere over here. I don't actually see a single person around, which is very interesting. Okay, there's one over there. We've gotta deactivate the power. I'm concealed at the moment but it's somewhere within this direction. I'm starting to think maybe it's underground. Can I actually, I can't enter that crap. Okay, so I'm off my joy. Does that mean people will notice me being different? I'm not sure. I definitely don't have my stride anymore. Uh, that's all sealed up. Oh, where's this power switch? I really need to get this off. You know, I think the power is under here. I kind of feel tempted to at least step in the electric just to see what it does. I'm okay, so it doesn't kill you instantly. I mean, oh. how can I do this? I need to get back there. Guys, right, so I'm gonna go for it, okay? I'm watching my health, keep jumping. Ooh, so we did it. It's a bit sloshy. Yeah, just Good a place tad. For giant octopi. But there's uh, there's none down here, right? A damp diary. I'll be taking that. We got a crafting station and such. Power has been killed, so now we need to try and drain this place, which might be in like a bathroom or something. First of all, let me flick this. Oh, I need the power to the place. Okay, so then if it's drained, keep pump valve open to prevent flooding. It looks like it was not kept open. Then we do that. Let me just see if this goes ahead and drains the floor. There you go. Now if I can find the switch again, mm -hmm. I'm in business. If we know exactly where it is. This is good, guys. This is real good. Wait. Uh, that feels entirely too good. In in the water, we find... Hold on. Let me try that again. You find joy in water. Yeah. They did say that, actually, in a previous episode. So now we can activate the power. 
floor is all drained. The place looks a little bit better. Okay, minus the bodies. But let's go ahead, flip the access hatch so we can get to and from different places. There we go. Good stuff. So what about that damp diary we just picked up? Let's take a read here. Monday. Made it this far. The hardest part was continuing to go to work without joy, seeing how daft they all are, but pretending, pretending, pretending to be like them while I made my plans. Oh yes, I'm a great pretender. She was always so sure there was a resistance plotting away. Why can't I find them? Celebrated Mr. K says there isn't any such thing, but she was so sure. Is he lying? Doesn't he trust me? I suppose there's no reason for him to do so. Tuesday. Does she miss me? She's always stiff of the lip, but every now and then she detects a twinge of feeling behind behind my mask. She'd say, would you like to have some tea, love? And I would swear she meant more. That's what I meant when I said it to her. She never called anyone else love, and sometimes her hand would linger for just a moment when I handed her the cup. Wednesday, Mr. Kite says to lay low a bit longer. If I turn off the pump, the water will build up. Then if there's an intruder, I can turn the power on. Thursday. Oh god, I dreamed V and I were swimming. We swam and swam until we turned around and couldn't see Wellington Wells anymore. And then we dove for a million fathoms. But then I lost her in the darkness. Friday. Nervous wreck. Two bobbies chased me coming back from the phone booth. Thank god I rigged the electricity. They made the most awful sound. I wonder if they had sweethearts, and some girls missing them right now the way, or is someone just popping an extra joy and trying to forget why. Saturday, more dreams of V even after I woke. I stayed in bed with my eyes closed so I wouldn't lose the feeling she was with me. I could still go to a mood booth and pretend nothing happened, but I won't. I won't do it. Not even if she meant the way she looked at me. She'd never stray from her appointed path, no matter how much she loved me. Sunday, nauseated cooked Bobby was bad enough, but now it's the rotting Bobby. Need a new shelter pronto, I must find out if Kay thinks it's safer to move. Time to leave another message, and that's pretty much all we hear of that guy. Alright then guys, so the safe house is now ours, thankfully. Let me just go ahead and pick some of these Gilead. So now the only thing we've really got to do is head over to this area here. We've got to break into the government printing office and back off, lady. Never trust an old lady on joy, hey? Whoa! What? What's wrong? Look who's in a hurry! I I'm walking right now! Guys, do not be judgmental around here. You gave me a fright, you yeah. You gave me a freaking fright, you dingus. Thankfully, though, guys, we are back to normal, and it feels good. Okay, so we got to find this street. I think it's if we take a right just here. This should be it. Though, hey. wait, wait, what is this? What's going on there? The Looks Bobby's like won't like it if I get too close to that. Mm-hmm. So back around nice Unless and I look like a council worker, I suppose. Maybe an objective, so we can talk to the Bobby. Look, I'll be back, okay? Let me just get this thing done. We've got that there. I have no idea what that even could be. Guys, there's honestly so much for us to check out. So this Looks right like here. Looks like the old printing office is pretty well buttoned up. Right. Mm. I wonder if there's a way in the back. Potentially, we can try it. We can enter the alleyway. I wonder if we'll see anyone else. You know what? Roof. We will. Never mind. Next week. Hey. Excuse Arthur? me. Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Lovely day for it. She knows us. You lovely day for it. Me, you idiot. Me. Sally. Interesting. Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how. You're okay. not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But wow. The way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just I just knew. There's Arthur. Sally? She's not on her joy, I don't you think. Fantastic. This ancient thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. <laughs> Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> she was a downer too. <laughs> that horrible gingham dress. God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, are you too? Don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little f***ing faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Hey, let's go. Whatever possesses you to go off your joy? <sighs> Percy. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. Mm -hmm. And that was all it took, really. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do we even have a letter of transit? Nope. Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah. I haven't figured that bit out yet. <laughs> yep. I'm very close with General Bing. Okay. Of course you are. <laughs> no. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Okay. Don't put the General out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. He does not like her, seems My God. He's you jealous, still hate I me, think. Don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 Yama. years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Mm. Because he had that adorable Bruh. beard. I don't know, there isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Mm. Believe me. Take enough stuff. Dang. Wow. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week, literally tore the bars off the windows, and the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. The point is, 
It's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. This is interesting. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. Here we go again. Come on, Arthur. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. Hmm. (sighs) Look. I'm sorry. She's going to be gone. She's going to be straight what I meant gone. To... We know where to find Maybe her. Maybe we could help each other. Maybe uh, I could come by when I'm feeling... Arthur, you're done goof, boy. Better. Brilliant. So you never turn your back to someone whilst they're talking to you, okay? It is rude, and they disappear. Just happens. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologising grievously? <laughs> Asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Mm. Uh-oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Damn it, lads! She's Scarper! Oh, this? But what have we here? Oh, but they're like jocks. A friend the freak? of Miss Boyle's, innit? Okay. Funny. You don't seem all high and mighty. Let's get Perhaps this done, gentlemen, okay? We can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. So she's not liked around here. All right, hold up, guys. They got rolling. Jesus. All right, I'm taking a jab right now. Whoa, there's three of them. Those rolling pins look sharp as freak as well. Why are they laughing whilst I'm like beating the crap out of them? Guys, you're weak as crap, okay? Sit the freak down. It's not personal. Oh, it is. It's personal. I just realized because I used a sharp shovel, um, I actually just killed three men right now. And I really don't care. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of here. Put the weapon away. All right. Uh, yeah, I just came off my joy. Dang it. I knew this was going to happen. So I got to play it real careful. There's a Bobby right there. Do I bribe him with the scotch? Will that work? Just literally me and the Bobby right now. You see his hand? There's no one there. Um, nah, hey, dude. Nah, what's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley. Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Constable. This sucks. I'll, uh, just be on my way. We're off our joy. Now where is it you're on your way to? Hasn't realised. Precisely. Home? Just off to see an old friend on St George. Yeah. Oh. Sure. Well, no need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St George is, uh, under renovation. Okay, there's a lot of people coming oh. along. For how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. I know exactly Dr. what that means. Faraday's the only no, one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous Faraday. contraptions on them bridges. Got it. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Why don't we do it? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the oh, okay. uh, location which headquarters keeps uh, uh, secret. Got it. All right. I'll ask your headquarters then. You we will some do. kind of troublemaker. <laughs> Stay out of city business. I see how it is. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, he backed off. Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. I don't know how he didn't know so I was on my joy. Police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Uh huh. Not risky at all. Nope. You don't say. It's so, always Bobby a little you. extra complicated with Sally, isn't it? Just a tad. And the fact that we're off our joy really does not help. Though the streets are kind of barren. Guys, there's a Bobby right there. Guys, I mean, hold up a second. Okay. Oh, no, okay. I hope you, you go. like this sort of thing. Does it work? Hold up. Oh, yes. That's how we do it. And look, he don't care. Well, that is quite kind of you. Wow. Normally, now we can go? Is a thankless profession. Hey, look, I can't go past that way. The Bobbies are straight up there. There is a uh, police box right there, or just a telephone you one. don't look exactly as okay. can be. Okay, give me a sec, all right? Just take my dosage, and we'll be all good. They're screaming in the back. Look, I'm popping my joy. Calm down. The freak. Look. I can take this all the time, and I wouldn't have what any is... worries. This is so bizarre. I love it. Move along, What's this please. here? What's done is done. Nothing to see here. There is. Past is history. Okay. Now, now, mind your own business. Yesterday is no place to live. Can th- this girl, like, hold up a sec. Can, can you be quiet, please? You and your sister. Warning, toxic fog spotted. When going through it, you'll want to have a gas mask equipped. Sure thing. Wait, behind me. Oh, I see. That looks very dark ahead. That's for the next episode, though, okay? Coming close now to actually finishing up with our joy, but we've made it back to the shelter, thankfully, in one piece. Let's go ahead and get back in there. 
not a bad day then. So we've met now a new character called Sally. We've drained this place. This is ours to live in as well. All good, all around. And look at that. Literally, guys, in the nick of time. But let me go ahead and take a sip of that tap water. And I feel real good right now. Well, there we go, guys. For this episode, I think I'm going to leave this one here. So for the next one, we have to go to the Bobby Heats queue. For me, this is where things now start getting interesting. We're almost like out of this slum area. And we're starting to get into the more built-up areas, at least on our joy. I'm excited for the next episode, though. Because as I say, there is the story going on. But it's also just this whole exploring the different land thing, which is just as exciting. So yeah, this is going to be a good episode. But if you guys did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one. I just wanted to add something small at the end of this video as well to say thank you to a dude named Trevor. Your girlfriend Shannon messaged me and she said you've been helping out in her times of need and honestly, I'm so proud of you dude, that's awesome. The kindness and generosity that you're clearly showing did not go unnoticed with me and it's amazing what you're doing. So honestly, a thank you from me and just keep it up. I just wanna finish the message off by, uh, <clears throat> get up nice and close. I'm proud of you buddy.